So hi guys, this is Parth and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can actually use text to speech API on the Google Cloud platform. So guys, let's get straight in the video. <clears throat> all right, so first of all, head up to the Google Cloud console and now you can actually search for an API which is text to speech API. Now you need to enable the API. So uh, going to the text to speech API, uh, instead of this manage button, you might see the enable API button, which you need to press for enabling this API. So once this uh, API has been enabled, we can actually start coding. And before we start to code, we actually need the key, which we uh, will use to access the Google Cloud Platform services. To get those key keys, uh, we can actually go to I am an admin. Now we can head up to the service account section, uh, which is actually uh, placed right here now up in the uh, service account section we can actually create new service account or if you have previous service accounts you can uh, choose one of the accounts so I now if you go inside the service account i can go to the key section and now i can actually create a key which is uh, which can be used to access apis through my code now if you create a create new key now i can create the key in a json format and now it will prompt me to download the key so you can download that in the respective folder you want. And now we can start working on actual code. All right. So the first part is obviously installing the libraries uh, required to access the Google Cloud's text to speech service. So uh, we will first need to run the command pip install Google Cloud text to speech. All right, so it will uh, install the particular libraries uh, required for Google Cloud Platform. All right, so for the next step, we can uh, import text to speech from Google.cloud. Now we begin again. All right, so now we can actually create uh, the Google Cloud client here right now, which is client equals to text.speech dot text to uh, text to speech client. This client will be used to access the functions in the text to speech API. All right, so now uh, we can actually define some kind of input text. We want to convert it, we want to convert to uh, supposedly anything. We need to enter that text inside the text to speech dot synthesis input type. Supposedly, it is hello, uh, welcome to Google Cloud. Right, I can use any kind of input text. This part is basically your major utility. Like if you want to use it for a chatbot, you can dynamically update the input text and then pass it through the API. All right. So now we can actually choose some voice configurations. We can use the voice selection params function of text to speech API to actually select what kind of voice we need uh, for our speech. I can choose first of all we can I can choose the language code which is a two uh, alphabet code represented the language and the type of language you're using for example if I use language code which is English US so I can use this for my speech client now uh, I can actually use the gender as well SML gender <coughs> I can choose it to be neutral. All right. You can put as many customizations you want. There are multiple, multiple customizations for this or selection parameters. You can uh, look out for documentation as well. All right. So now we can uh, actually configure the audio for the text to speech client which can be configured by audio config function of the text to speech api all right we can uh put some uh parameters in this like audio encoding which is used to encode uh the audio to the type of encoding supposedly if, if i want to encode it to the mp3 format i can use text to speech dot audio encoding dot mp3 which will encode it to the mp3 format all right so now we can actually uh 
hit the API call to the client, to the text to speech client, we can store that as a response, which is equals to client dot synthesize speech, which is the main function required for hitting the API call to text to speech API. All right, so uh, I can use the synthesize speech button, uh, synthesize speech function, and I can pass the parameter as input, which is equals to input text, voice equals to voice, and audio config equals to audio configuration, which I've set it, which I've set up before. All right, so we actually have the audio in the response, and to now write this audio uh, to my system, I need to actually read the response with uh, using the with open function. Now I can store that as out, and then I can write it as out dot write response dot audio content. And now we can just print audio content written to the file output dot mp3. And that's how you can actually create the text. Uh, which was hello welcome to google cloud to a speech which we have configured here now before we can uh, run the particular code we now need to actually pass the google cloud key which we have which i have saved here uh, as jc gcp key dot json which is the key file for the my google cloud platform so i can actually use it I have two ways to use it. Either I can save the key path uh, as an environment variable, or the other thing I can do is I can use uh, from service account file function of the client, which can be used like, uh, which can be used by putting a full stop, then from service account file here. And now I can pass the path of the service file, which is the key of the uh your particular G, uh, google cloud platform so i can just enter the path here which is gcp.json for me because it is currently in my uh in this directory only so this will be termed as gcp key jcp key all right so now i can run the file as python text to speech.py all right so just a little change here i had ac accidentally written SSM, ssml generation here which should be replaced by ssml gender which i have replaced here right now now i think our code should work properly so if i run the text to speech or file file then my audio contents have been written to the output.mp3 file which is shown here and yeah it exactly states what is written in the text which is hello welcome to the google cloud so yeah that's how you actually use the text to speech api from google cloud and yeah that's it for the video thank you guys for watching